Hey guys, I am Yash. So today I will be showing you how to parse JSON. Uh, so with this knowledge, uh, you can use APIs and all that stuff. So let's get started. Now, first of all, here I have uh, a JSON uh, API uh, which will be returning JSON. So this is the link. I will uh, throw this link uh, in the description. So do check it out. Anyways, let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, type JSON, and uh, do make sure this settings are same. So, anyways, hit next, save it wherever you want. So, we will be doing nothing under Storyboard. So, let's uh, hop over to View Controller. So, first of all, uh, let's copy the URL. So, copy and uh, so under view did load under view did load let's save it as let url is equal to url and uh, url with uh, string it will be and uh, paste your string here so we have it here now the another thing we need to do is we need to define a task so let's say let task is equal to url session dot shared dot data task okay and we will be using this one data task with url and completion handler so url will be our url okay the one which we created just and uh, completion handler just hit enter it will auto complete for us data will be data Res url response will be response and error will be error okay and inside code so let's first check for error if error is not equal to nil print error okay and now if there is no error then we will try to fetch data now so let's say if let mm, my data is equal to data now this data was optional it might be nil so that's why we are uh, doing this okay so again now this uh, what we will be doing will throw might throw an error so we will do it under do statement and uh, try to catch for error catch so I'm sure uh, it will uh, show us output so just catch error okay for future stuff okay so let's say let my json okay will be json serialization dot json object with data and and this one okay this one is what we need okay hit enter with data will be our my data the constant we named it here and uh, this option will be just hit enter and after reading options add dot and say mutable it will be mutable containers okay now and we need to downcast it as any object we need to use it as any object we are not downcasting it so now we have our uh, j uh, fetch the data in my json so let's uh, see what's there okay so I will just print it out so print my JSON okay and so before just one bracket we need to write task and this is name of our constant we just created above okay task dot resume task dot resume okay I think there is some error here URL okay uh, we need to add an exclamation mark so just add it there and now we can write this here i think okay one more error call can throw but uh, is okay we need to write try here now it should work say resume okay so we are good to go now see if uh, guys this is https https but if it's HTTP, this will not work. So for that, we need to add 
something under info.plist what we need to add is uh, on the first row hit uh, add and say app transport security settings okay so there it is and uh, hit add again and say allow arbitrary loads hit enter and uh, here instead of no make it yes okay so now what this will do is this will allow for HTTP request also so here we are so let's run again hit play app is running uh, this is the dictionary which we will be fetching as any object so app is running I think let's check for data okay so here we have it the full dictionary so let's just uh, parse into eyes okay so we know there are like almost uh, one dictionary two dictionary and three so let's get in there now instead of first uh, stop the app uh, take out print JSON and say if let uh, so we will go under for uh, faces first I think we'll go for face first okay so it will be face is equal to my JSON face as any object okay and so now we have uh, gone one level uh, inside the dictionary now one more step will be if let uh, let's go for mouth mouth is equal to face and uh, say mouth okay and this will and this we will downcast it as ns array okay and uh, hit question mark it will be optional and uh, let's print it out once print mouth so let's run app is running so yeah it's mouth so this should work i was confused that uh, it is mouth or mouth yeah but it should work so here we have it so the array is printed uh, we can iterate it also so let's say if uh, uh, let's see all the mouth uh, below phi okay only with no let's catch only print first three that's what we can do is okay for i in uh, say zero two three and uh, print mm, what we will do is mouth okay and uh, pass in i here so first three will be printed hit run app is building so here we have our output uh, this uh, here we have our first three uh, data from rra so that's how you parse json thank you guys keep watching